How's that? Let's try that three minutes into this. So this log here, it's got some imperfections. There's one at about four. Okay, so where it lays, it's an eight foot log. So orange is eight. You can't really see it. Nah, you guys can't see it. Crapola. How's that? So that orange bunk is eight. Eight six. This blue is ten six. And then out here at the end, which you can't see right there on the left side of the grapple is twelve. And I have marks for other ones. But so this log at about four foot right there by that bald spot has some issues and it's got some more issues at eight. And red oak's not doing good enough now. So this will become a straight blocking log, pallet grade log. So I'm just going to put it at 12 for the first one. And that'll go right here in the scrag pile. Go for pallets. It's small on the diameter end. I'd have pushed it if it was a little bigger. And then the other scrag is any length over 8 foot and under 25 foot. And they'll buck it up there. It can be a little crooked and what have you. It doesn't hurt nothing. As long as they can chop some four foot straight pieces out of it for pallet grade. I'm going to go slower than I normally do so I can kind of explain it. Here's a crummy little cherry. Top's all messed up, but we can cut a good eight footer out of it. I'm going to chop a nine so they can get face lumber plus a tie. That's good. Four clean sides. It's got a little bit of a bow to it. So, yeah, there's that. I got a, I got a, I got a walnut log here. I got a, give me a second here. This is why I quit cutting up the other day. And I can't haul. There we go. Nice little walnut there. Okay, so hopefully we can do something now. So this here, that just becomes a pallet grade log. Oh baby, it's hot in here. He's messing with the chipper over there, if you can hear it. It overheated the other day. They're trying to figure out why. So, where are we going? Let's get into, we got a big oak log right here. Big old red oak. Now, something big like this, see how much tapers in the log? I can get a 12 or a 14 out of that, but I might chop it short because the taper of the log, you start losing too much footage. So I usually go with a 10 right off the button and go for long stuff after that. So we'll take the 10 off this. That's a good clean four sides clear preem de la preem I mean I guess depending on how the log grader feels on that day but that's preem de la preem so come back over here that next log is going to have some defect in it Let's see how much defect so right right there we've got that's nine foot we're going to cut a nine, and the reason I'm going to do a nine is because that next log's full of cat face and grown over knots and stuff. This will grade out as a premium log, and they can cut a tie out of the center. See that cat face? There's a cat face just to the right of the grapple there. And all the cat face is is a grown over knot. Now your next one is full of knots. Everything's full of knots. See that? Look at all them knots. When they're that block, that when that goes down to three clean side or one clean side and and less, it goes straight into the blocking pile, straight into the pallet grade pile because that's all it is. It pays more by the ton than it does by the foot. So that's why you merchandise. Now, if you're cutting for a mill, 
like a sawmill ends at, obviously they're going to want every inch of that log they can run through their mill. But since this is owned by a private owner, we got soft maple here. We're going to cut a clean 10. Number two soft maple, I'm told, is doing better than number two red oak. So we can throw a little bit of a dirty one in there. Now there's no worm. Worm is those squiggles in the end that they say make ambrosia maple or whatever. Well, they pay us for blocking for that, but here's a good indicator of a good clean log. That's a good clean, looks like four sides clear, pretty small heart. That's a nice soft maple. That should do him well. That should do him well. I hope it does it well. wearing my rubber boots and my feet slipped off. Can we get a two sides clear? There's a knot on the bottom, there's a knot on the left side. There's knots on the right, knot on the top. So, I'm going to chop a 12 and the rest will be blocking. This 12 will be pallet grade also. It's just not worth it. They don't pay enough for it. Now, whereas if this was going to a sawmill, like you were contract cutting for a sawmill, and all the logs were going to one place, they would want that. 12 foot. If you do that, you're going for footage. So whatever you can cut with the least amount of deductions once it gets scaled is what you'd want to cut as the logger. And this will all be straight scrag wood. I got some nubbins to cut off there. I'll cut them off later. Now what do we got here? We got a red oak here. A lot of taper in that log, but look, see how crummy it gets up there? So let's see where 12 takes us. 12 takes us there. I could stretch it to 14, but what's going to happen? If I go to 14, I'm going to be done. Uh, maybe. Let's try it. You don't want double heart. That will bump your grade down to a number two instantly. And that means it only has two clear sides. Now we got taper in that log, but there's no sense of cutting it a 10 and wasting four foot. Yeah, she's still good. Okay. I hope I don't confuse you guys too much because everybody got different ways of doing this. And I'm not the best explainer. Uh, he's hanging out on his engine over there. Sometimes when this happens, I'll try to grab it and split it. Boy, I got a lot going on here. All right, so there's a bottom as a stem that splits. Let's try to. Oh. Damn. My damn blade's bound up. Damn it. The bar's getting wore out. Give me a sec. Alright, I'm back. Now, there, it's free. See it? I don't even need that one. So, this, we're going to cut a scrag log. No, no, we can leave that hole. That whole thing will go right there and scrag. Now, can't quite get eight out of that, plus I cut halfway through it. So let's take it. I'm going to split that baby right there. And that piece, unfortunately, see how I cut through it? That piece has to go into the chunk pile. You guys couldn't see that part. 
Now I'll grab this and hopefully split that fork right into two. Just like that. Yeah, look at that. Water now. Drag logs. Looks like this bottom here is a soft maple. You know what that is? It's all stained up from laying in the mud. Yeah, it's soft maple. We can get a 10 out of that. Look at that. Nice clean 10. Splash. Rest. Can I get another clean one out of that? You know what? Ah, uh, nope. See that? No good. Yep, no good. Too crooked. And it's got that Y in it. I was going to try to chop a tie log out of that. Can't get it. In the scrag she goes. Any more? The key of being profitable is uh, obviously merchandising. Merchandising is key. Now this one here, we got a lot of taper in this log. We're going to take a 10 off of it, just like I told you. Get it over there where it belongs. See how much taper's in that log? We're going to lose some footage. But you gotta kinda find a lesser of the two evils and go with that. That's a good prime. Number one. Maybe even number one prime. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. Truck loads it in. Now, I think we'll go for a nine. Maybe even a ten. Now see, we got a knot right there at the grapple. And I got one right behind it. See that one behind it now? Can you see it there? It's right there where I'm going to cut. That's nine foot. So it's going to show up in the cut and be in the log. So I might as well go to ten because there's no knots beyond that. Increase my footage. The grade's going to go down a little bit no matter what. So I might as well increase my footage. There it is. You got that. Actually, there's a knot on the bottom I didn't see. Oh well, maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh. Clean these other couple up and then we'll get out of here. I can't do anything, it's too muddy. I just want to get enough to get a truck in here maybe tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. You can't see it, it's up on the piles getting too high. So I gotta clean some nubbins off that one too. So this here is Aspen. If it's sound and big enough, it goes for blocking, for pallet grade. Scrag wood. We'll stretch this out to 20 foot. If it's not sound, it'll go into the pulp pile. Makes a great pulp. Makes a good scrag too. It's good and sound. That tree just died maybe last year. Knock some mud off of it. Put it on the pile. I think we can get another one out of that, eh? What you think? I think I can. A little bent up, but it'll still... Yeah, it's still good enough. I look at it as he can chop two fairly straight eight-footers out of that. Can't go anything shorter than eights. Probably get an eight out of this end and a 12 out of the other. It's 20 foot. They'll leave a little room for trim if they need it. But uh, you can't go shorter than eight because the head rate. They don't have the type of scrag mill. They've run everything on the head rig and the blocks won't be able to grab the log and run it through the mill. Set that over here. That's trash. Let's do this one here. You guessed it. We're going to take a 10 right off this. Probably another 10.
10. Let's stack these in the pile. I'll do that. It kind of saves me moves. You know, if I only have one log instead of swinging over for one, I'll wait till I have two, and then I'll swing over. Nah, it's going to be a 10. I thought I could stretch it to 12, but it's going to lower the grade right there. See that knot up there just past the cut? There's a knot right there. I'm not going to be able to stretch it to 12 because it'll show up in the small end. That's the end they scale, the small end of the log. They look at the whole log for defects, but if you got a limb grown into that small end, Just splish some mud around. I gotta be careful. Trucks over there. And that there is about 16 to 18 feet. So they can either cut two ties out of that or they can just cut two straight eight footers out of it. Jamming into pallet stock. And what do we got here? That is an elm log. Gray elm. Bigger stuff we can do things with. It's funny. So gray elm as it sits kind of looks like walnut, doesn't it? But that's not, that's a gray elm, I can tell by the bark. But makes great railroad ties. That's about 22 to 23 feet. Once again, doesn't matter. Any length from 8 to 25. And if it's a little crooked, I'll chop it down. There you go. Make great railroad tie. And here we have a little walnut log. Now, walnut's a whole different story. Since walnut's doing so good, and I don't know the numbers, I just know it's paying very good. You want whatever you can get out of it. Knots, no knots, as long as it's fairly straight. Now this one has a kink at the one end. See that kink? So we're gonna drop it down to eight foot for the first cut. Eight footer. Right, this is the last tree I cut down on Tuesday. I'm trying to make a load of walnut. And then we're gonna go for a 12. But I don't know. I'll see if 12 puts me there, I'm going to end up cutting an 8 and I'm going to waste on a log. So let's bump it back to 10 and we'll cut two eights. That way we're not throwing away 6 foot of this. We don't want to waste any of this if we don't have to. Let's chop an 8 and then we'll get another 8 out of the very end. It's going to have a little kink in it, but we're going to cut it right about the kink. Right about there. That's a little over 8. Right there. Three logs and I'll have that fourth. It didn't waste anything. They tell me, doesn't matter, you just cut it. I mean, obviously, if you can cut a nice veneer log out of one or a real good clean grade log, you go for that. But don't. Like some guys would throw this away because it's a little kink. He said, no, no, no. Actually, we can chop that down a little bit. Since it's not going to make it to 10 and that's waste. We're going to chop about a foot off of it. That'll take some of the defect that they would... See a little kink in it? Still get some lumber out of that. That's about a 12 to 14 inch log. Right now they seem to want all the walnut they can get. There's not a lot around here, so they're not too, too picky. But alright, so we went through the species. That I had here. Hopefully, that guy clarifies some stuff for you guys. I'm sorry if I confused you more than I helped you. I've been known to do that. So, what do we got? 22 minutes. I'm going to cut the first three minutes out of this. All right. It's too dang hot in this cab, so I'm going home. It's too muddy to do anything else. No, not there go here. I'm trying to rest my grapple on something. There we go. There we go.
Okay. So my goal was there just to kind of show you what I'm doing when I'm cutting up. So um, it changes time to time as markets change, how I cut up, you know, what I let go. Right now, like he's saying, hard maple and soft maple is doing better than red oak. Um, white oak and walnut are doing better than all of them, obviously. But don't ask me prices. I don't know them. So, but hopefully it just kind of sheds some light on what I'm doing. Because usually you guys just see it. You don't get to see me. I don't, I'm not able to talk while I'm doing it. So hopefully you can hear this over and out. <laughs> 